overrated review overrated review what's up guys we are doing an overrated review and i am bradley overrated i am super happy to be playing this game let's talk about it now it's called my writing stables life with horses and if you're wondering whether or not this is a great game let me save you the trouble and tell you no no it's not at all so let's talk about all my feelings now about my writing stables and if i could sum it all up this game sucks it sucks i thought my reviews were bad but this game makes my reviews look like the best thing on youtube because that's just how bad this game is so you play as a rancher and your objective is to breed and sell and groom and ride horses it actually doesn't sound like a terrible concept it's just terrible when you actually play the game. The game itself is buggy. It is glitchy. It is ugly. It's not pleasing to the eyes whatsoever. It has a terrible soundtrack. And then when you play all these mini games and stuff, such as walk a horse around in circles or walk your character around in circles, you'll start to realize that this game is just not fun in the slightest. I mean, even the control scheme is freaking weird man okay so to move your character you use the left control stick right so in order to look around you would think you use the right control stick wrong to look and move your character you use the left control stick as if that isn't a pain in the butt in and of itself it doesn't really give you very good tutorials on exactly what you're supposed to do not that it's difficult to figure out but it is just another negative to add upon the hay pile and they could have done something to make the, you know, taking care of the horse a little bit more entertaining and exciting. But playing almost sexy, fun music, like you're gonna take the horse to the bedroom, is not exactly the most appealing concept. I mean, listen to this music. It just sounds wrong. I just, I don't know. Like I said, the soundtrack was terrible. I think it's because of the way they implemented it in this game. And then cleaning the horses and all of this other act, these activities that you can do they're not fun in the slightest they actually feel like a chore and when you play a game you don't want to feel like you're doing real chores not only that though racing the horses is stupid the horse actually will go automatically you can mash a button to try to increase its speed and then you pull on the triggers to make it jump but the horse won't run rampant it won't go off the track if you don't steer the horse it will stay on the track and it's just not that engaging it's not fun to participate in the races because there's just nothing exciting here that's going on there's no challenge for that matter and I can forgive it of everything really I can you know me if you have watched my reviews you know I'm pretty lenient and very generous with my grades and my reviews of video games and you know for this five dollar game when you consider that's only five bucks it's oh, wait a second it's not five bucks it's thirty dollars that's right they want thirty dollars for the steaming dumpster fire. <laughs> I didn't pay 30 bucks, but I feel bad for anybody that did. I got this used at GameStop for like $10, and even at $10, I wanted my money back. There is nothing in this game that feels rewarding, and there's definitely nothing that feels engaging whatsoever. Well, that sums up my riding stables, Life with Horses, I think, so let's give this game a letter grade now. And for those of you that are new here, I give letter grades, A being the best and F being the worst. And my riding stables, Life with Horses, is it's a masterpiece. It really is. It's a masterpiece of screwing people out of their cash. I have to give it an A+, I'm just kidding. It, of course, gets an F. I mean, how could I not give it that letter grade when the graphics are bad, the soundtrack is bad, the gameplay is bad, the basic controls are bad, and everything about this game is terrible. At a $30 price tag, it obviously deserves the F. So if you are seeing this review, please, please, please save your money. Do yourself a favor. Make yourself a nice meal. Chop up your cash, your $30.00 chop it up and use it as a garnish for your meal and eat it because that would be a better use of it than buying this game. Whew! 
I feel better now. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. This is YouTube after all, and I will see you guys on the next overrated review. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and stay away from this game, please.